Welcome back to the 10 things that broke off my natural hair. And today we are on number one. Before we get into today's video, I just want to give a big shout out to Cherie, AKA Natural Beginnings. I'll link her channel below, but she inspired me to do this actual playlist on the first episode. She did a collaboration with me and I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for always showing up for me. I definitely support you. And let's jump into today's video. So the number one thing that broke off my natural hair was transitioning uneducated. Here's the thing, we don't know what we don't know. And embracing your natural hair is truly more than just about hair. It's about embracing yourself, self-love, really, really getting to know who you are as a person. I'm here to give you just three, three very vital tips to transition educated. Often, when deciding to go natural, most people ask, how should I go natural? Should I transition or should I big chop? Yet, the real transition should really happen here first, mentally. If you have big chop, I mean like seriously big chop, like took it down to a fade like I did, the feeling that's naturally followed by that is release. Like you done let some go. Like you have no more worries. And during this stage, your hair is the easiest, the absolute easiest to care for because you barely have any, like you wake up and literally go. Yet, as you go along in your journey or you transition and you're in that awkward stage, it's not unnatural to feel awkward. Working on your mindset first and consistently day in and day out is so important to embracing your natural hair. If you need help, we have a playlist on this channel that's solely dedicated to self-love. I encourage you to check out that playlist. It's called Truth Be Told. Now I discontinue posting on that playlist, but just speaking about it now is making me reconsider. Moving right along, you must you must have a game plan. If you are going natural and you absolutely do not know where to start, I want you to check in the description box below. Click on the link that says Health Growth Challenge 2020. I walk you through from start to finish of like everything you need to consider when putting your hair routine together. And here's the thing, the key about being on a routine, you have to be consistent. And last but not least, invest in yourself. That comes in the form of time, education, and products. Time is a major factor when considering transitioning to natural. When you hear about wash day, Believe me, you need the full day. In your journey, you're going to eventually get to a point where that self-love really kicks in and you learn the word no. I can tell you firsthand that being a natural forced me to stop allowing people to interrupt my personal time. And believe me, that's not a selfish thing. You need time to embrace and love yourself. You're also going to need to invest time in educating yourself. This is not something that we learn overnight. This is not something we learn in one day. Like it's truly a lifestyle change. With all that said, transitioning uneducated does not have to be your struggle too. Be sure to check out the description box below where I list number two through 10 of the 10 things that broke off my natural hair. They cover everything from budgeting, scalp care, understanding how to retain moisture, wash day and keeping it simple, hairstyles, 
focusing on the right things, the struggles of being tender-headed, ingredients like silicones that may be in your hair products, and of course, natural hair products that I had to just completely stop using. If you are new to this channel, hi, and honestly, just do not know where to start, I encourage you, check out the videos on the screen here for you. Here I walk you hand in hand of like everything you must know when trying to get your hair to its healthiest. But don't leave before telling me, what are your current struggles? How can I best help you? Let me know, comment that down below, and I'll see you in the next video.